Ten Worms by Shayla High and Tara Becker. What are pinworms? They are a non-invasive infestation of the intestinal tract by Enerobus vermicularis, a helmet of the nematode family. It appears as a white, small, and delicate nematode, known as a roundworm. The entire life cycle of the pinworm, from egg to adult, takes place in the human GI tract of a single human host. Epidemiology. In the United States, a study by the Center of Disease Control reported an overall incidence rate of 11.4% among people of all ages. Pinworm eggs are spread directly from person to person. They can also be spread by touching, bedding, food, or other items contaminated with the eggs. Highest incidence is among school aged children. Pinworms are the most common worm infection in the United States. Most common in temperate climates. Humans are the only host. The cycle of the pinworm. Children are infected by touching pinworm eggs and putting their fingers in their mouths. The eggs are then swallowed and eventually the eggs hatch in the small intestine. The worms then mature in the colon. From there, the female worm moves to the host anal area at night to deposit more eggs. 10,000 ova and then she dies. The eggs embryonate within six hours and can cause intense itching in the anal area, which can lead to further infection. Scratching also causes the eggs to be transmitted from the anal area to the fingernail bed. These eggs can be transferred to other children, family members, or to household items. The cycle then repeats itself. Clinical presentation. Many patients are asymptomatic. Perianal itching is the most common reported symptoms with scratching leading to excoriation and at times, secondary infection. Some patients may experience difficulty sleeping due to the itching that occurs during the night. Irritation or discomfort of the vagina in young girls. If an adult worm enters the vagina rather than the anus of a female. Loss of appetite and weight which is usually uncommon, but can occur in severe infections. Irritability due to itching and interrupted sleep is also seen. Diagnosis. The best way to diagnose pinworm is to do a tape test. The best time to perform this is in the morning before bathing or using the bathroom, firmly press the sticky side of a one inch strip of cellophane tape over the anal area for a few seconds. The eggs will then stick to the tape. The tape is then transferred to a glass slide, sticky side down. 
your health care provider will examine the slide to confirm the presence of eggs. How to perform the tape test. A. Cellulose tape slide preparation. B. Hold slide against tongue depressor one inch from end and lift long portion of tape from side. C. Loop tape over end of depressor to expose gummed surface. D. Hold tape and slide against tongue depressor. E. Press gummed surface against several areas of the perianal region. F. Replace tape on slide. G. Smooth tape with cotton or gauze. Note, specimens are best obtained a few hours after the person has retired, perhaps at 10 or 11 p.m. or the first thing in the morning before a bowel movement or bath. Treatment. The main treatment is with mabenazole or albenazole. Single dose of mabenazole with a second dose given after two weeks or single dose of albenazole with a second dose given after two weeks. Other infected family members, classmates, or residents of LTC facilities should be treated at the same time as the diagnosed patient. Treatment continued. To control the eggs, it is best to clean toilet seats daily, keep fingernails short and clean, wash all bed linens, twice a week, wash hands before meals and after using the toilet. Prognosis and prevention. Pinworm infection is fully treatable. Pyrantel pamoate is good for prevention. It is available as a suspension. Minimal toxicity is seen. Repeat dose after two weeks is recommended due to the frequency of reinfection and auto infection. Continue with good hygiene practices. Thank you for watching our video and here are our references.